Hey, hey, how you been? Long time. I know it's been like a week. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, I know I said I would release more video. I know. I, 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 yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I did. I, you're right. You're right. I did make that promise. I, yeah, I was supposed to come up with a dual con. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. I apologize. Um, I've been getting a lot of love from you guys. A lot of people have been subscribing to me. But um, I feel bad. I feel like I haven't done my job because last video I released was a week ago and um, I was supposed to be releasing videos at a higher volume. That's what I, I, I expected of myself and I think that's what you guys expected of me. And uh, you know, I'll apologize right off the bat. I was planning on coming out with a couple videos this weekend but I forgot to factor in Valentine's Day. Like how could I do that, right? I had it all planned out. I was gonna hang out with my girlfriend, which I did. Uh, we had a lot of good times this weekend, but um, I obviously spending time with her. I wasn't able to record a video for you guys. I mean, I was able to, I was able to record videos, gameplay, but I wasn't able to actually do any commentaries for you guys. So I apologize. But uh, that being said, I now have a stockpile of videos, and all I gotta do is uh, you know sit back on my couch like I am right now with you know some chicken wings like I have out right now you know some Fruitopia that's what I'm drinking no I'm not a you know Fruitopia didn't sponsor me I'm not saying that because I have to I'm saying that because I want to I like Fruitopia you know if you got a problem with that talk to me outside we'll talk about it no I'm just playing um but for real yeah you know all I gotta do now is just talk over the commentaries just speak over these gameplays which shouldn't be too hard and uh you know Hopefully I'll be able to release those to you. Hopefully I'm trying to get out. It's Tuesday and I'm trying to get out two videos to you guys tonight. So I mean, don't hold me by that. Don't strangle me if I don't come out with them. But I'm planning on coming out with them. I'm gonna think positively. I am actually. I am gonna. I'm gonna say I am gonna come out with them. Because when you think like that, things happen. That's, that's tip number one for you guys. Think positively. Things happen. But no, let's get into this game right here. It's a domination on Afghan. As you guys can see, I'm using the Tar 21. Silenced. Uh, my secondary is a PP2000. I don't think I pulled that out. It's also silenced. Um, use Scavenger Pro, Stopping Power Pro, Steady Aim. I'm not using Ninja because it's my third prestige, so I don't have Ninja right now. But um, you know, usually I'd have Ninja in place of Steady Aim. I, I'm not really a fan of Steady Aim unless I'm sniping with a Barret, and then I'll use Steady Aim. But uh, yeah. So, uh, let's just talk about this a little bit. Afghan, I like this map. It's a pretty good map. I, I, I'm the kind of guy who just likes everything. I don't think I hate... Let me think of something that I hate. Um, I mean, I can think of things I hate. Let me think of a map I hate. Honestly, I, I can't come up with one off the top of my head. Yeah, I can't. I can't think of one. I, I just, I love this game. I'm just a positive guy. I mean, I've had bad games on every map, but maybe I just think about the positive games, and I don't know what it is, but... I can't really think of a map that I hate right now. Um, yes, I can. Wasteland. I hate Wasteland. That's the worst map ever. Okay. Don't flame me because I said that, guys. Oh, yeah, and Rust. I talked about that earlier. But I barely get Rust. So, But anyways, yeah. So I like this map. Um, I kind of I spawned at the BC spawn. I called it the BC spawn because it's in between B and in between C. Um, and you know what? I notice a lot of people... And with reason, I mean, it is it is the kind of like the funner place to go, I guess you could say. A lot of people, they rush straight to B. Um, this is because, you know, there's a lot of action. There's a fight for the bunker. Um, B is also, it's a, in my opinion, it's a crucial point. If you can kind of hold B throughout the game, you generally do well throughout the rest of the game. So, you know, it seems to be kind of like the spot to run to. But I notice a lot of time people forget about C. Or they take for granted the fact that some guy is going to run to C and cap it. But in this case, I was that guy. Um, so I ran over to C, I was defending it. Now, I really, really, really like C on this map. Um, whether I'm playing like Team Deathmatch, or Domination, whatever it is, I love C. And that's because you have so many environmental advantages being at C. There's so much cover. Uh, on one side, you know, the side facing B, there's, um, there's like rocks, there's broken walls you guys will see um all sorts of good things to cover you from and then on the side coming from a along along the back side along the back kind of path that little uh the stairway path there's you know that little 
I don't know what it is. There's more walls as you can see. There's a little like artillery unit I think it is. But there's there's a lot of things here to just give you an advantage over other people. And like one thing I should say is cover is important in this game. If you have like you guys, I mean what you see isn't necessarily what the other people see. So when you're looking over a wall and you can clearly see like there's no there's no obstruction to your view. A lot of the time what that means is the people can just barely see like the top of your head. You know what I mean? So having cover is really, really, really good in this game. It's really helpful. And um, that's why I like C. And in general, when you when you are fighting someone, when you're in a gunfight, you predict you're going to have a gunfight with someone, you want to have that gunfight on your terms. You want them to come to you, right? You want them to enter your environment. You don't want to you don't want to get out of your niche or your comfort zone to, to enter their area and fight them on their terms because that gives them the advantage. You, I mean, you want to have every advantage you can and it's not cheap, it's not cheesy, it's none of that stuff. It's fair. I mean, it's it's part of the game and using your environment is part of being a good player and knowing how to use your environment is definitely a part of being a good player. So that being said, uh, yeah, I love seeing this situation. So I mean, uh, overall, like that's just a tip. In any map, try to use your environment to your advantage. See what you can do with it. You know, be different. Do what you can. Like, just use it to your advantage. And, uh, that's how you get ahead. Um, you never want to just charge blindly into like around a corner. You never want to chase someone around the corner because a lot of the time people are either baiting you or they're ready for you. And if you're running around a corner, as prepared as you think you are, the person who's sitting still, lying prone still, is going to have the advantage over you. So, I mean, look out for that. Um, the TAR-21. This is a gun that, honestly, I really didn't give a chance to. I mean, I didn't even want to, like, play with this gun. I don't know why. There was just something about it that didn't appeal to me. I was having fun with the M16, with the ACR, with the M4. Um... You know, generally those guns, I was kind of like, you know, tinkering with those guns, having a good time with them. And I wasn't really messing with the TAR. Third Prestige comes around. I've been playing for a while. I decide, you know what, let me take out the TAR and let me give it a shot. And um, I haven't turned back. Like, this Prestige, I just love this gun. It's amazing. I don't know what it is about it. Its stat line isn't great. It isn't the greatest gun according to its stat line. Um, its accuracy, especially far away, isn't too great. Um, it has a lot of recoil. The further away you get, the harder it is to really sustain. Um, you know, it's not. It won't have ACR numbers in terms of range, but um, you know, it kind of gets the job done for me. I get a couple of good long shots in this game, but you kind of have to fire it off. You know, one shot at a time. So um, it's a good gun. I like it. I have fun. It has a high fire rate, and um, I, I notice if you want to run around a lot and you, you feel like you're going to be in close quarters with people a lot. Uh, this is a really good gun to choose. So, you know, if you don't want to necessarily use a, a SMG, you might want to go with the TAR. So, it's a good choice. Um, but yeah, this is a really close game right now. I'm kind of holding down A because no one else is. Everyone's running to B. Um, I see they're capping B, but I have faith in my team. Because there's like 30 of them over there. Okay, not 30, but the whole team's over there. But of course, they fail, and I'm like spazzing my head out because it's 196 196 i really want to win this game so yeah i'm heading over there and you'll see the ending it's pretty close it's tight but uh good news for the ps3 players the uh, care package glitch has been confirmed officially fixed i don't know if the fix is out but it'll be out soon so yeah rate comment subscribe do what you got to do we lost heartbreaker but uh you know stuff happens so uh thanks for watching guys hopefully there'll be another video to keep you guys entertained after this one Peace.